dinosaurs, ancient Egypt, and space exhibits? It's like they plucked out all my dreams and put it into one building. Remember, we've got a super packed schedule with a limited amount of time left. Thanks to someone's fascination with extinct species. Museums sure know how to make a kid feel special. Or ancient. <laughs> What's next on the list? The Ancient Egypt Exhibition? Cleopatra is literally a fashion icon. Not to mention the tombs. <laughs> How about we go and get some close encounters of the Polly kind? <gasps> you mean we're gonna visit the alien convention after this? Polly, you've truly outdone yourself. Oh, wow, thanks, Sean. I mean, uh, not exactly. I was just thinking, what if we shrink ourselves down so we can look at everything up close? Oh! <laughs> Age exhibit is next on the list, but I'm willing to compromise my integrity just this once. Your secret's safe with me, Shawnee. Who knew the planets had such fabulous designs on them? Saturn's ring is truly inspired. Actually, Lila, did you know Saturn is eight rings, not just one? I knew watching that space documentary last night would pay off. Shawnee, what's something you've always wanted to do in space? Ooh. Perform a selection of Melody's greatest hits with a supersonic communication satellite in hopes of attracting alien life? Uh... <clears throat> Attract for science and research purposes, obviously. <laughs> right. <laughs> and is the second thing playing cosmic dodgeball like that one episode in Why Girls you always talk about? Whoa! Careful, Polly. You know what they said about Icarus in the sun, right? That he was really great at flying and nothing went wrong? Try again. Don't worry. We won't fly too close to the sun. Besides, this one is not even hot. All right, but only for a little while. Huh? Perfect. I'm not in. Oh boy. We destroyed the biggest planet in the entire solar system. I'm gonna be exiled from space camp forever. It's not the end of the world, <laughs> okay? Uh, we can fix this. We just have to be a little inventive, that's all. Go big! <laughs> Polly, we're done for. There's no way we can fix this ourselves. We've got to tell somebody. Uh, miniature Earth to Shani. If we tell somebody what we did, we'll be crowned forever. Oh, I should have listened to you, Shani. I just wanted you to have the best museum visit ever. But I got carried away. 
You're right. We can't fix this ourselves. We have to come clean. It's the right thing to do. You're right, Shawnee. And hey, even if we get grounded forever, at least we can say we restored balance to the universe. Woohoo! <clears throat> Uh, we made a mistake. And we, we would, would like, like to fix, fix it. it. Hey, look! It's fixed! And we were only grounded for like two weeks. Balance restored to the universe. <laughs> Gotta make it on time. Gotta make it on time. Gotta make it ten minutes early. Gotta make it ten minutes early. Gotta make this hairspray last. Gotta make this hairspray last. <laughs> But at what cost? <laughs> Phew! Continuity wins again! Oh. <laughs> ah. You've got to be kidding me! What's wrong, Shawnee? Please tell me I'm not the only one who totally messed up the due date for the science paper! <sighs> oh. oh! Why, oh why, did I take this new stunning purse to school when my homework was in my I don't even know who I am anymore. Ugh, this is the worst day ever. Oh, come on, you guys. We still have a chance to get a good grade with the rocket experiment later, remember? We haven't failed the semester just yet. Is this what true failure feels like? <laughs> One little step for girl, one giant leap for Littleton Middle School. Um, kind. We can workshop that one later. Shawnee, you ready for liftoff? Affirmative, Captain. I've also spent the last few minutes making more appropriate space-related puns since I had a few stocked in the wheelhouse. Oh! <laughs> chance of those puns counting for extra credit? Looks like we're gonna need it. Uh, not to worry. I have an extra battery with me, just in case. Oh no. What is it, Shawnee? The battery. It's... it's at home. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Shawnee, how bad is the outage? It's not terrible, it's just super tiny. Someone would have to be the size of a mouse to get the engine cords rewired and... <gasps> oh yeah! Guys, I'm going in! Tiny power! <laughs> okay. I think I've got it. Go big! was the backup plan. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. Hmm. Oh, what a day. If this flamingo pool doesn't cheer me up, I don't know what will. Oh, you're telling me. I've never felt like more of an average student in my whole life. Reputation ruined. Legacy over. Oh, come 
Come on, you guys. We're here now. The views, the pool, the gentle summer breeze. Okay, I'm officially stuck <laughs> in more ways than one. There's gotta be a way to figure out how to get out of this mess. I'm trying to pull as hard as I can, Lila, I swear. No, Johnny, she means today. Oh, right. I haven't had a day this bad since someone leaked season two spoilers of the Y Girls. That was a dark day for all. Wait a minute. Shawnee, what did you just say? Almost having Y Girls season two ruined for me? Uh, no, before that. Oh, that was the last time I remember having a bad day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Holly, huh. what are you talking about? Bad days don't last forever. Shawnee oh. had her bad day, sure. Her favorite TV show got spoiled. But that didn't mean she kept having bad days forever. There's always a chance to have a better one tomorrow. So, we should just go to bed super early so tomorrow can come around sooner. Well, not exactly. But knowing that these feelings will only last for the day makes me feel a whole lot better. Holly's right. I've certainly had many better days since then. There's only so many seasons of Y Girls anyway. <laughs> exactly. For centuries, no man, woman, or child has been able to enter the snowy fortresses of this forbidden ice dome. The sub-zero temperatures, the torturous winds, the torturous winds! <laughs> Lila, can I get some wind over here, please? Preferably torturous. Wouldn't this all make more sense if you were tiny? Where's your locket anyway? Tiny power is no match for these conditions. The ravaged wolves would take me alive. a snowstorm instead of watching TV shows and eating snacks? <laughs> because I thought it could make for a cool movie scene. Movie, movie scene? scene? Yeah, one that I may or may not have wanted to make for a little while. All right, I guess I can wait. What did you both have in mind for tonight instead? Something summery, I suppose? Well, I mean, we could do huh? some karaoke. I printed and laminated the lyrics huh? as to avoid any potential hot cocoa drama. Oh, and any phone battery shortage. What? You fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Tonight's the premiere of my favorite fashion contest show. We thought we could all watch it together. one way to spend time together. Quick, we have to get out of this thing or my camera is toast. Holly, use your locket. I can't miss the opening theme song to my show. Too late. Oh, don't worry, Lila. We'll be out of here before you know it. Tiny power! Tiny power! Oh boy. I know. I'll use my strongest Kerpow sequence to get us out of here. Uh, 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 
Wait! If we all apply an even amount of pressure on a 90-degree angle leaning forward, we should have enough momentum to roll us over to the locket! <sighs> oh, Peaches! Thank goodness! Be a good doggy and grab my locket over on the table! <sighs> <sighs> Good girl. Now bring it over here. Uh, please. <gasps> oh! Woo oh! Oh! Oh no! They're gonna find us in one thousand years and think we're mummies, aren't they? Aren't they? Hmm. <gasps> Not on my watch. Shawnee, do you think you can make a lasso with these fairy lights? I could give it a shot. Polly, we're not tiny. There's no way we can zip wire off that thing. How good is your throw and aim? Well, I didn't get top curl power of the year for nothing, that's for sure. Quick, throw this lasso to the doorknob. If you get a good grip, we can pull ourselves out of this thing once and for all. Ready? Ready. Talk about a rough landing. Ouch. Phew. Looks like my camera survived the Coco after all. Gosh, I wish I'd kept it rolling. Those last ten minutes could have been the next great disaster movie. So, what do you guys want to do for the rest of the night? Hmm. How about we go zip lining for real this time? Tiny Bower! to help you sew those teeny-weeny details onto your design, right? I did get third place in an out-of-town... Miniature sewing bee, I know. Anyway, I brought my toolkit just in case... It's you... totally okay. Really, Polly, you don't have to worry about me. I promise I have everything definitely 100% under control. Shawnee! <gasps> so good to see you! Uh... Well, now that you have some company, Polly, I better go and get some uh, snacks for us all. Snacks? Yeah, I've run out and I'd hate to be a bad host. Adios! Mm. Mm. Hmm. Oh, come on, you've got to be kidding me! No fabric stores open within a five mile radius? How is that possible? <gasps> oh, no. There's no way I'm going to finish the design now! She's not getting snacks, is she? Nope. Why doesn't she just ask us for help? I'm sure she will. Eventually. Boy, I better get going. I'm on table setting duty for dinner tonight. A 
to mention the new trailer for The White Girls is dropping, and I've been dodging spoilers all week. Hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. Huh? But I can always watch the trailer tomorrow. And turn off my message alerts. <laughs> Maybe we could help Lila with some of the smaller designs, just in case. Tiny Palace! You, Polly, but I'm feeling a little tired. <sighs> Me too. Okay, I think it's time we take just a little break. Get the snacks. I'm really bad at lying, huh? Hmm. You know I hate doing this, right? I'm overwhelmed and I need help. But I hate asking for help. It makes me feel so helpless. Oh, Lila, it's all right. And hey, we still have plenty of time to get everything done. We do? Absolutely. Well, with a little help from Tiny power! runs first. <laughs> 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 